Can we win a tournament just by passing? This is what we are going to find out today. Snap Clash is a competitive Discord that is running tournaments daily. They're free to enter. They're pretty quick. You just play a best of three. But today, they've been testing out a number of different formats. They have banned everything Series 4 and up. So no Battle Pass, no Series 5, no Series 4, only Series 3 and below. It's so refreshing. You don't have to worry about Surfer. You don't have to worry about Zabu. Playing in the battle mode means that you don't have to worry about um, Plunder Castle. It's just amazing to be able to come in here and take a fresh look at deck building. I think that's really what is going to revitalize some of the community that gets tired of the, the stale metas is going to be the tournament scene. And scenes like this where it's just a daily tournament. You hop in, you play for about an hour to get through your three matches, and it's free to enter. It's just easy to be able to hop in, hop out. So we have our list. Full pass this list i've tinkered around with elements of it before i like it with zabu we're having to make it work without zabu our read is that sunspot is just going to give us some raw efficiency and then we're really trying to capitalize on she hulk being in series three now she's certainly an outlier for series three if you don't have her yet pin her get her whatever you can infinite she hulk is the name of the game and then magic and Psylocke are the way that we can play them simultaneously. We either magic on five, pass on six, the She-Hulk Infinite together on seven, or we Psylocke on four, pass on what is then six energy on five to play She-Hulk Infinite together on six. Everything else here is teched to just to be efficient in the early game in terms of the Iceman, the Scorpion, and the Lizard. The Cosmo gives us a little bit of control here, so we have both Cosmo and Enchantress as our tech cards. Moon Girl is here for the true high roll of getting double She-Hulk, which, while it is, it's a crazy high roll to be able to pull it off, but with Magic, you are making your deck more consistent, and with Jubilee as well... The consistency level for this list is very, very high. It's crazy high. Jubilee thinning one of the cards, Magic giving you yet another draw. So you can make that happen more often than you might think. It's so much fun to pull off. And so then our tech cards of Cosmo to stop the on reveal. I'm worried a little bit about Lockjaw lists. I'm worried maybe about someone just bringing in Wong and trying to go full energy against me um, just to produce a lot of tempo that way. And then the Enchantress is specifically here because I think that Patriot, people are going to be looking at the Patriot list as very desirable to pilot in a world where only Series 3 exists. So hopefully the Enchantress is able to give me the tech there. Maybe people even will start looking to Devil Dinosaur or um, Iron Man in a situation where only Series 3 exists. So the Enchantress is here for that stuff and then can turn off the Lizard as like a, a nominal benefit for us as well, even in the case where the opponent is not running it. So I love where she falls in this list. All right, guys, our tournament coverage is about to begin. But first, if you guys enjoy this style of coverage, showing off the competitive events, playing in tournaments, etc., then help support the video. A like and a comment helps promote this to the rest of the community, and then we can get more people involved in the tournament play, more people getting eyes on this. This is going to build a better environment all around, and it will help us out here at the channel a ton. Round 1, Snap Clash Tournament, banning all cards above Series 3. Diving in here, we're up against Android Ninja, aka Zven, pillar of the Teddy Ninja community. <laughs> Noted Cerebro 4's enjoyer. Against all odds, not only have we matched up with him in this tournament, we've matched up with him in Round 1. We matched up with him in Round 1 of my warm-up tournament. <laughs> if we're playing the same decks, then we know exactly what we are playing. Does you guys like a little bit of lore behind a battle? There you go. I'll go Iceman. Just playing our efficient cards here, holding on to the Psylocke. They've got the Sunspot. Zven here, now in his previous match, spoilers, um, was not playing his noted Cerebro Fours tournament champion list. Playing all his inked cards instead. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't have a single inked card. I also have not opened a single Series 5 card out of a cash. Is there a correlation? Obviously not. There's not supposed to be. There we have it. Uh, uh, Zven saying in the Discord that the, the tournament bot knew that he wanted a rematch. So here we are. I get Hella Carrier. Let's go. The only time you'll see Hella Carrier on my board. I'm kidding. It's, it's okay. It's an okay card. I mean, I can like Psylocke and pass, hope to draw She-Hulk, or I could, yeah, I, I think it's worth it. It's a little weird. 
Who we can threaten? Rescue. Okay. Sven bringing in some. Do we draw it? Oh, man. I can't believe we actually hit the top deck. It pays to be prepared. Listen, luck favors the prepared. That's what Snap is, especially in battle mode where you get multiple head to head matchups. They're able to buff their rescue here. Bringing out the magic. Okay. Well. This means I think that I still want to play these guys. We'll figure out what turn seven looks like later. And there, I have a sneaking suspicion that it looks like passing power onto the sunspot. Um, we have a chance of drawing Magic, Jubilee, Scorpion. None of those are good. None of the cards in our hand are good at generating more points than just a one-for-one -one trade of energy. So here we are looking at each other. Where do I want to place my pieces? I'm not sure. I'm ahead by... Uh, with their information as to what my board is, they do have a distinct advantage here. Zven can play his Infinite on right, his She-Hulk on mid, and beat me. Right? So that's saying that he has both of those. Six cards in hand. Man, it's going to be depressing to lose to the exact same strategy. If I play Moon Girl here, I put myself out of reach of the She-Hulk. It's coming down to the kind of the mind game of where these final cards land. Infinite went mid. She-Hulk went left. Ah, ah. So if I hadn't played Moon Girl, I would have won. Ah. Oh. Maybe I should have retreated. Four points down early on really hurts. Let's see if we can claw our way back. <laughs> Regretting now giving Sven uh, deck building advice after our previous round. Little did I know he's going to come back and beat me with it round one of the next tournament. I'll pass here. If not, she Hulk is the golden combo. Do we get the Psylocke? Do we get the magic? He's got the sunspot. I do not. I lose my scorpion. That was my play. He loses his Psylocke. And I have nothing. Slow starter here. Unless we find a great series of draws here. Like if he snaps, I think I'm just going to retreat. What did Icebox just hit? My She-Hulk? Why? Why is the universe against me? Maybe X Mansion gives us something crazy, and that's actually what's what I need. I need something crazy out of X Mansion. And okay, they get nothing. I get one point. <laughs> oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? I can Moon Girl. Give me two She-Hulks on the final turn. I am not in love with this because then I can't bring in the Infinite. If I get Jubilee, I will not be able to pull Infinites in hand. We're pulling from the deck. There goes Scorpion here. Decreasing the value of my She-Hulk. And I guess we go for this. I don't have Sunspot. If I draw Sunspot and play Sunspot, then I'm passing on 5 energy. So the She-Hulks will both be 2 cost. And if I top deck Lizard, it puts us in an okay place, but we're behind on tempo. And with the opponent running the exact same strategy. Exact same strategy. Ah, oh, man. Come on, come on. Jubilee. We don't have to waste our time, do we? Do we? Escape. Icebox hit the She-Hulk. Otherwise, we would have been fine with She-Hulk, She-Hulk, Infinite. Just take the one cube loss, go next. Round three. Half health. Haven't even touched, haven't even scratched Zven. If we Iceman here, yeah, which is a lay into our efficiency. 
Iceman Scorpion, wait to see what we draw. Develop our game plan from there. Nova Roma, nice. Accelerating our draw. Getting Cosmo. Not Cosmo in this matchup is not worth anything. Zven has not shown any control cards. Maybe he's holding it. Maybe he has text the Shang-Chi. That'd be the only thing we're scared of. Man, can you imagine? <laughs> Comes down to a pivotal game where we snap, we feel like we're ahead, and then his Shang-Chi kills us, a hidden card. You have activated my trap card. Let's Jubilee here. Thinning, hopefully, Infinite. She-Hulk also a good option. Sunspot also a good option. Any of the others? Uh, I don't care too much about Psylocke or Enchantress hitting the board here. It's Infinite! Well, now, Cosmo could be just a common sense play to be able to protect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Cosmo Sunspot here. We flip first. We're going to be able to guard the Infinite. Just in case he's brought the Shang-Chi again. I don't think he has it. But then... Oh, but we could have... We could have played Moon Girl into Magic and then tried to get our double She-Hulk down. But there's no guarantee that we top deck the She-Hulk, so... No, no, this makes sense. I didn't have She-Hulk in there. What am I doing? Okay, we're scrambled. We're scrambled. Head in the game, Teddy. Let us magic here. Get me my extra card draw. I am guaranteed to find the She-Hulk. Put as much power onto the Sunspot as possible. And then hope that winning Baxter building is our ticket to success. Sven knows it. He got Lizard. A zero. Rescue zero. What is your combo? Playing some tall cards. We've not found it. We go lizard and pass. Yeah. But I could go Psylocke. If I go Psylocke, I'm close to being able to debuff their lizard. I think just, no, I wait, I wait. Lizard and then points on Sunspot. They are playing Tinkerer's Workshop. The Typhoid Mary? Hello. Oh, Zven wants to play all the mind games. Does he move the Typhoid Mary? Does he not move the Typhoid Mary? Do I move the Infinite? Do I not move the Infinite? Who is to say? Anything can move into the cloaked location. It's a fun um, challenge. But what if... Hang on, hang on. I play you, I cannot also play you. Dang it. If I play you guys together, and Zven wants to play for four cubes here off of the mind game of the cloak? Are you kidding me? This puts us up significantly at Limbo, with the debuff coming into the lizard. We are behind a Baxter building though. That's what's burning me up. If I just choose to move the infinite, I don't think he, he makes it down. But I don't know what Zven really has left in the tank. He's got this shuffle off the cloak. I could accept it as a bait, but then he just plays the limbo, right? But if I bring the infinite over, he just plays over here. And I'm losing on Lizard. I think I take it like this. Okay, the Lizards are debuffed. The Typhoid Mary did move. And then the She-Hulk drops. My She-Hulk drops. My Psylocke lands. And yes! The extra power on the Sunspot. We needed that so badly. Oh. Oh, oh yes. That already. Okay. Clawing our way back. Clawing our way back. I knew he didn't have his infinite on the table. And that's what uh what pushed me to accept. Man, if he had beaten us and then we were down to two health, the uh, coming back, I don't think there'd be any coming back from that. We know these decks are very even oh no my frost. Hold on. So nothing 
Nothing will stay at kill. Wow. Neither of us have a way to be able to move cards over. You did a turn one zero? Oh no, and then Sanctum Sectorum? Okay. So I have the lizard here. Board space is at an absolute premium. Absolute premium. He zeroes the lizard. Just a turn later than he wanted to. <laughs> uh, it's terrible. A jubilee. This will all get shuffled to the Sanctum Sanctorum, so Kiln will be locked out. And then the Bifrost will move us into Sanctum Sanctorum, and then we both get to fight over just a... What? Sven's gonna have three board spaces, I'm gonna have two. I do have the Sunspot, though, as one of mine. What a location, lockdown kind of board. Be something big. Okay, well... Oh. No, the, the cloak there is bad because the cloak's allowance to move to the location stays at the location he was played at, not the location that he resides at. So... What do we do? I feel like magic is a bit of a trap here. It's low tempo. Heck, Zven might play it for us. I think I just pass. Pass and pray. They did play it for us. So then we actually get to make up some ground here with the sunspot scaling up. There's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. No, oh, don't do this to me. Come on, Sven. Come on. I can just end again and hope for the infinite. I think I do. Oh my goodness. <laughs> ah! Let's go. Heart of the cards, heart of the cards. Do you have Shang-Chi? Is this it? Are you gonna reveal Shang-Chi now? It doesn't knock me out of the tournament, but it's close. If it's Shang-Chi, he's kept it a secret all this time. Infinite, She-Hulk, oh. <laughs> We're back in it, baby. We're ahead. Oh, man. Ooh. It's so, it's so tight. The mirror match is just crazy. I think it's a great deck. I have to respect how Zven is playing his side of it. He has changed. He's not bringing Cosmo himself. What is the other tech card that he's bringing that we don't have? He has armor. Did he show armor in one of the early games? He certainly showed armor in our previous tournament matchup round one. But now he understands that I'm not running the Shang-Chi. Or maybe I am hiding it. You don't know, Sven. I could have changed something around. But he's, uh, I think I've played all my cards at this point. Unless maybe I've never played the Enchantress. As a great idea if you're running in a tournament especially to have a notepad next to you. Or MarvelSnapZone.com, build a deck. And then every time you see a card that your opponent plays, add it to the deck builder. That way you're able to see what they've been running. I am not actually doing that. Which might be foolish on my part. Vault, eh? Okay. So Scorpion will move over to the Stark Tower. Sunspot's going to stick it out at the vault. We can Jubilee to get extra bodies buffed together at Stark Tower. And then Magic, that gives us the line of the Infinite She-Hulk. And the vault will open back up on turn 7. Yeah, it seems like we got the, as good a line as we could. And Zven here is not able to do more than 2 points of damage to us. We can actually play. We just have to win one of the next 3 games. And we win the turn. Uh, we win the round. Not the, obviously not the turn, but this is round one. Sunspot scales up on both sides. He's got the cloak. Okay. I will jubilee. I want all these cards getting buffed at Stark Tower. What could we pull? Lizard would be nice. Moon Girl would be very nice. Copying the She-Hulk. 
the only card that matters about being copied in this deck. The Moon Girl, is it too greedy, guys? Let me know in the comments. Moon Girl. To duplicate the She-Hulk is incredibly powerful, but if you're copying anything else, it really doesn't matter. But I don't know. The deck is consistent enough overall with both Jubilee and Magic that while it is a high roll to get the Moon Girl onto the She-Hulk and then have the Magic set up the Infinite Double She-Hulk turn, um, it does hit. It hits occasionally. We go Magic here. Maybe Zven will as well. Match my Magic? Or do you think that I'm playing Magic and then you play something else? Depends on um, how he's thinking he's getting back into this one. You have to imagine that this is kind of the slow defeat here. We've got three games to be able to get the win. Zero onto the Typhoid Mary for his Ven side. Magic. Limbo. All systems go. Then we get the doubling out of the Stark Tower. 14 to 20, eh? So we're actually pretty far behind in terms of tempo on board. 31 points to our 20... Nope. 21. Yes, 31 to 21. So we are 10 points behind. Never found the moon girl. Still just pass here. Sunspot scales. Okay. Questions, questions. Where do we play the cards? She-Hulk cannot go here for the win. It would have to be infinite. But it could also be that I abandon Stark Tower and I Infinite here and then I She-Hulk here. The thing is that Infinite here loses to their She-Hulk. No, it ties. And then margin of victory I lose anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's better to put the pressure on like this. It's very close. And then I've got the Iceman as well. That's better than letting Sunspot scale up. Okay, we'll see how it lands. Infinite on left. She-Hulk on right, but was debuffed by... Did Scorpion? Did your little sting pull it through? Oh, there's the round. Good game to spend. Fantastically played. Round two, up against Zuchid. Collapsed mine. That's fantastic for us. I mean, we were... Checked out to be able to pass at some point. Come in here. Daily Bugle. What do we learn about our opponent? Magneto. Okay. Um, unlikely that I will play the Magneto, but it's good to have in hand. A little bit of info about what the opponent is packing. Scorpion. Just efficient early plays. It makes sense. Mid Avalier. Okay, what do we like? Do I just throw Cosmo out there? Or do I play my Psylocke? Psylocke would let me jump in in case of a top deck magic. That could be fun. Let's try this. Got the Okoye. Okoye and the Scorpion. Buffing your deck, debuffing my hand, and there's the Iceman. Okay, so it's just the trifecta of early tempo. Hitting Jubilee against us. I don't love it. What's my answer? I could just Jubilee here, even though she got clipped. See what we pull. We're able to play her because we set up the Psylocke. Might as well capitalize on that extra energy. Man, we don't have Shield. We don't have Infinite. We don't have Magic. And we don't have Sunspot. This is a terrible opening for us. It could be. It's so bad, it could be a retreat. Lockjaw Wasp. What does it show? Sunspot. And a buff Sunspot, no less. Well... I can catch that and I get the Iceman. Wow, I paid 5 energy for a Jubilee Iceman combo. No, thank you. If I Cosmo, I get She-Hulk down to 4 cost. It just seems bad. They flip first so they get whatever they want at the Lockjaw location through and then I get like Scorpion, I guess. The Magneto doesn't move very much. They've got Magneto, which does move stuff for me. Yeah, I think that we retreat this one. I will be able to manipulate the Thor with the Magneto, but I'm still behind. Yeah, we'll just bounce here.
I'm sure they will not retreat. Yeah. Escaped. Okay. Ready up, ready up. Think, Teddy. Think, Teddy. We can make it through. They show Lockjaw and Thor, meaning that the Magneto. We haven't seen. I mean, the Thor is a nice one to be able to catch with the Cosmo. We could be holding Cosmo to play to the Lockjaw location. Again, you, we, you with the Sunspot, me with no Sunspot. Hey, why is this happening? Now I need to pass again. If I play Psylocke, I get to play a four cost early. That doesn't matter. Yeah, we wait. There's the Okoye. They just have all the plays. Now yeah, listen. A second early retreat wouldn't be too bad. It would not be the end of the world for us. I am going to take it though. I'll go Cosmo here. Face the might of Asuka, oh, with the initiative, they're able to get Mjolnir in. There's our Cosmo. Okay. And then Mer Island goes down. So we don't get any additional buffs, but then again, neither does the opponent. Let's see. If I Moon Girl, or five cards in hand, the Psylocke and the She Hulk get brought over. That has to be the play, right? It has to be, and it's just sad that we don't have um, to me. our sunspot. Missing out on the sunspot scaling is going to hurt. But it's only six energy, no six power, versus everything else that we've been able to produce. Feels nice, feels nice. They snapped. So they're, they're happy with their draws, or they were happy with the locations. All the unreveal effects have now been nullified for their side. They only have one board space open for an unreveal effect. But have they shown us anything that they even care to be an unreveal effect? It could be Magneto. Um, they're just going to pass. Put the power in the sun spot. That's actually gaining up against magic. Uh, <laughs> sure. Let's just keep going, I guess. Keep digging the hole. Diggy diggy hole. Digging, digging holes. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Infinite She Hulk, She Hulk. Is really good. We just let them win limbo. There's their Infinite. Maybe we don't. Yeah. There you go. Do they have Shang-Chi? They flip first, it doesn't matter. So I go. Infinite here, and then the question is, where does the final She-Hulk have to land? I'm behind by a lot. It's hard, it's hard. I could say that I need the extra power over here. We'll be at 27 up against 12. When they play their Magneto, they hit 24, and we pass them. Okay. I think that's about as good as they can do. So then I double She-Hulk over here, and then that puts me at 24. And when they Magneto, they are at uh, 23. Yep, we got it. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming. Dangerous to assume. There's the Magneto. Oh, hang on. It moves the Cosmo. This is fine. Iceman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I think, yeah, we clearly made the right decision. Four damage. We take the lead. I have to say that the I feel like Nowhere Ruins, I don't know, they, they executed their game plan I think exactly as they wanted to. They got the Infinite and Magneto to the board but with, with the Moon Girl She-Hulk, She-Hulk, Infinite, it's just so hard to resist. Ooh, okay, we want to keep inventory what the opponent shows buffed by Wakanda and NPC as we're trying to math out the final turn they have three cards that to get buffed here. Ooh, rickety bridge. I think I want to hit that with the magic and just open up options for both of us, admittedly. They've not played anything. This bodes well. Bodes very well. Icebox clipped Cosmo. I will then Sunspot and I could Psylocke to get the early magic. Why not? After all, why not? 
Gore, which was buffed by Wakandan Embassy, so they have two other hidden buffed cards. Magic now. We're holding the Cosmo, which has been, it's been buffed, but it's also his cost has been increased, which is a, a net neutral. What do you guys think? What if Cosmo was always this, a 4-5? I think he would be more like a 4-4. Four, four. If they brought him up to a 4 cost, just, you know, Enchantress, 4 well, Shang-Chi's a 4-3. I guess they play around with the power a little bit. Moon Girl is not good here. Like, really bad. You just drop the Wasp? Why are you playing Wasp? I guess I'll still play Mr. Cosmo. Oh, is it on reveal? Please. Yeah. <laughs> no Mjolnir for you, my opponent. Sorry. But not really. Jubilee. Look for a... Uh, what are we going to top deck that helps? I don't even know. This ended up being a pretty bad game. Without She-Hulk or Infinite. I mean, if we can yoink... Infinite, draw, She-Hulk. Yeah. This situation's where we still come out on top. Maybe I should have Jubilee on right. But then they know exactly what they need to be able to beat me, right? It's just that Wakanda and Embassy has been completely empty. They also, hang on, Sunspot did not get the buff. It got the buff from itself, not from the Wakanda and Embassy. So they're still sitting on two cards with the Wakanda and Embassy buffs. I've shown all of mine. Sunspot, Cosmo, Lizard. I wonder if the opponent is thinking about just retreating here after we caught out their Jane Foster. Maybe. I don't know, I'd be surprised. Magneto. It's gonna move Cosmo. Okay. Jubilee does nothing. Sunspot scales. And I cannot play Infinite. Ouch. I will... Enchantress. To get the pass. Opponent snapped. No, I don't want to... I don't want to be up against you when you snap. Make sure we would pass them with the Enchantress and we'd scale the Sunspot as well, but... It wasn't a good, good turn for us. If we had just full passed to then be able to play the Infinite, different story. Which, in hindsight, seems like the better play. Okay, so we've lost two health now. They've lost four. Still round four. It's been a cagey match. I'll go Lizard to Shadowland. I'll go Lizard to a location where you don't get an extra assistance to debuff my Lizard. At the earlier Koye. Still a good play. Oh, yeah, he's solid. Nexus. It's good for both of us. We could also try and be tricksy and play... Well, never mind. We cannot play the magic to the Nexus because of Avengers Compound. Makes you think a little bit. Will Cosmo... Here. Thor, yeah, Thor's going to be able to scale to be pretty large. I will... I guess I Jubilee. See what we pull. Be able to thin out our deck. Then we're going to have to follow up with the magic to give ourselves more time. We have great tools to be able to win Nexus, and winning the Nexus is all that matters. But, we haven't found them. We have magic to be able to give us the extra draw, and then there's Jubilee. If she pulls Infinite, it actually... It's She-Hulk, okay. Nice man hits Moon Girl, thankfully not magic. Scorpion hits everybody. There we go. So now we have to play here to the Avengers compound, and I will play magic. They don't have Sunspot on the board either. Which I was just feeling like I'm missing. I really wanted to be able to set up Sunspot at the Nexus here. Or Sunspot with this 
game plan ends up being a very large card in most cases. Most of our tech cards aren't helped. Oh, you've snapped. I have to make the snap judgment now. Oh, uh, bounce. I'll give it back. Okay. Round five, high stakes rounds. Things are gonna accelerate very quickly here. Without Sunspot, without Infinite in hand. Yeah, I was hesitant. Bar Sinister. You know I don't love Bar Sinister? Does Sunspot love Bar Sinister? No, I think I just play Sunspot normal. If I could get one She-Hulk over there, then play She-Hulk somewhere else, Infinite somewhere else, I mean, that's the dream. Murder World, we both lose our Sunspots. Okay, okay. Fair is fair. You Okoye, and then I Scorpion. Very mirror play style. Mini Lab. Great. Well, nothing I play here matters. Nothing they play here. Uh, the unreveal effect would matter. They're going straight into Barsons. So now you have four Mjolnirs that are all able to buff up the entire stack of the Lord. Yeah. I've heard this before. Yeah, I've heard this voice line before, centuries ago. Um, my son's bought scales, and then we both get knocked on the head. Well, in hindsight, Sunspot to Bar Sinister would have been suicide, so we do have that to comfort us. We can Jubilee here, see what we pull. And will a Infinite be able to win Bar Sinister? Mjolnir. Of course it's Mjolnir. It's the very high odds of being Mjolnir. Mjolnir. We're going to hear this over and over again again. Mjolnir. Up to, to nine. Me. So at the point where you Mjolnir. hit uh, it's plus me. six per each, if you hit two more of them, then you'll be taller than my Infinite. I get magic. Ooh, exciting. Okay. And I'm holding the She-Hulk? Wow. It's tragic that Moon Girl will not be able to copy She-Hulk. Actually a tragedy. I need to do something with my energy. So... I could Enchantress here. It's gonna be Enchantress. Full pass. Ugh. Now... It's the gamble, right? Do we expect them to be able to find two Mjolnirs or not? I don't know. But I do end here. And we see what comes around. Wow, it's so bad. Okay, there's their Infinite. So, have you found two Mjolnirs out of your deck? You put four of them in there. You yoinked one with the Jubilee. Am I going to see a bunch of other ones? Or is Infinite here safe? Um, even if it's not, do I go Infinite here and then She-Hulk here for the win? Your Magneto will pull Enchantress and Jubilee. So then I would beat you here. And then I would be at 23, which would beat you mid as well. Do I have Iceman too? Okay, yeah, I do have the Iceman for a little bit of extra. Oh, gosh. What's the call on those Mjolnirs, guys? I think it's like so. Like so, like so. I'm gonna say that he did not get two of them. For four cubes, saying that he did not get two of them. He got all three? Mjolnir, to me! Oh. Mjolnir, to me! Mjolnir, to me! Okay, I'm just gonna sit here and watch them all Mjolnir, pump up, but to me. Can I retreat? No, it won't let me. I'm gonna have to watch the animation. Alright, it looks like that last round should have been a retreat for us. Bag into it. Kill. Iceman Lizard is a good tempo to the kiln. Catch our Cosmo. It's fine, that's fine. Crimson Cosmos, also good by me. Then we have Sunspot to be able to tug away over here. 
I love that. Our set is through again. No. Say it isn't so. We got the infinite though. Okay. I think I win this. Like, guaranteed? Until, of course, the Koye buff their infinite and then drop the infinite that's then uh, one point bigger each at Barzen, is it right? Man, that would be embarrassing. Okay, let's see what happens. If we snap, we only take one more uh, cube or health off of them. Then it would be instant death for us, so a little hesitant. Lockjaw, wasp, wasp cycles. Okoye buffs, the infinite could be buffed. Ah, uh, no. Aggressive play there with the lockjaw. We should. Good gosh. I play Cosmo here, I think. It's tough. It could be the Scorpion. Scorpion debuffing their hand could be what I need to be able to get the win. Or it could be the Cosmo here. Blocking whatever on reveal comes around. But what what would it be, really? I don't know. It's not going to be anything. Are you going to play your Thors again? You can't play the Thors again because you don't have a space. No, they could, actually. The Mjolnirs do fit to the Crimson Cosmos because they are free. I could uh, Jubilee or Cosmo. I think I want the Jubilee here. And we see if they get the the Chavez coming in from the Lockjaw. Right? They want to play there and debuff the Lizard. They go straight to Bar Sinister. Don't tell me it's Thor again. Shoot me now. Face the might of Asgard, Mjolnir! Face the might of Asgard, Mjolnir! Well, hang on. Face the might of Asgard, Mjolnir! What if I just play my Infinite mid? If I just play my Infinite mid, I win. They don't have a way to stop it. They also don't have enough draw to be able to get enough hammers to beat him at Bar Sinister. And then Sunspot passes them at the kiln. Yeah, we just win. We just win. I assume the opponent will retreat here rather than taking the three. Yeah, yeah. Victory. Clawing our way back. Three to four. An awkward position to be in, but we're making a count. Round seven, digging in deep. Tinkerer's workshop jumps us up to, up to two. I would not want to play the Psylocke. Yeah, don't want to play the Psylocke. We just pass. Man, if we could have had the sunspot. Scorpion hits us early. Oof. The opponent is lined up. Hell's at kitchen. Okay. Get the Iceman? No, my Sunspot. My Sunspot. Please. We've got magic. But we're missing the She-Hulk and the Infinite. And drawing them here means Moon Girl will not be able to clone them. They, of course, have both Iceman and a Sunspot. I mean, why not? Everything going against us here. Danger Room. Hey, actually, I have, I have nothing. We play this to get an early magic, I guess. They're just gonna pass. Yeah, sure. Maintain tempo on that sunspot. It's gonna do you well, I'm sure. You can win Danger Room. I know your sunspot's gonna get huge. Jubilee. Okoye. That's good for us. Turn four, they only produce a little bit. Coming back into it. Turn five, there we go. She-Hulk Infinite. We are able to play on this turn. Do I Moon Girl? Moon Girl would potentially put the bluff up against him. But I don't think he cares. Like, I don't think I can bluff him. 
at this point in the, in the breakdown of the cubes. I have to be able to whip. I have to win or retreat. Uh, and now we have to decide, uh, do we use our last retreat? Because if we accept, then we're in it. We do have She-Hulk Infinite, which is very good. We know the opponent also has it, and they have better tempo on the board, though. We're in. gonna give him danger room. Have to give him danger room. There he is. Do I give up danger room? Your other play is Magneto, right? Magneto doesn't have anything to shuffle around. If I play Infinite here, She Hulk here, there's a chance, but no, honestly, not much of one. Because if he just plays like Chavez to the danger room, he gets me. What if he tries to play Chavez here to Limbo? I think this is what I have to try though. Unless it was, it's gonna be both here. Anticipating that the opponent just tries to fill in here rather than passing at Limbo, but why wouldn't they, why wouldn't they play to Limbo when they have the ability to pass? Go with the gut, go with the gut. When in doubt, go with the gut. They do play to Limbo, it's Magneto. Stay, stay. Ugh. There it is. Okay. Victory. We're in the lead. We can take a loss. The opponent cannot. Ooh, man. Here's the flip. Round eight. Round eight. What's the longest battle mode match you guys have ever had? Round eight? I think I've had one go round nine before. Clearly this one will not, well, it actually could. If we lose, it'll be able to go to round nine. Has anybody seen round 10 or 11? Sanctum Sanctoro. Restricting us already. We'll let the sunspot scale. They set up theirs. Uh, Lizard, you're effectively guaranteed to be debuffed with this set. Oh, murder world. Fun, fun. I would rather they get the rock though, right? So let's put it in for some early tempo. Okoye. And I will be higher. Yes, by one, so then they get the rock. Hey. But then I'm debuffed. <laughs> uh. That's that's hilarious. I Psylocke, right? And win? I mean, how are they going to stop She-Hulk Infinite dropping on their heads on turn six? Moon Girl would be in the prayer that we top deck magic, but we don't need to push it like that. Ah, oh. Guys, this one was insane. Like, I am feeling the fatigue of the match. Drained of the adrenaline after those last two. We had such a comeback to climb. We made it. Maybe I'm speaking too soon, but what, what do they really have? They don't run the She-Hulk. So they just pass here as well? Listen, they're up by two. And then we just put it all right here. Do they have a way to get into the Sanctum Sanctorum? I don't think they do. do we do this and this. This is the, the smartest way to play it out though. Wasp. Infinite. Yep. Infinite. She-Hulk. That difference maker. Victory. Oh my gosh. GG, man.
Ooh, Zuchis. Zuchis plays a mean game of Snap. Into the finals, we are up against Jiggly Von Puff. <laughs> no cards above Series 3, so Series 3 and below. Now, Jiggly Von Puff has already made it to this position by climbing over its guest gaming, who I believe is another content creator. So, guys, if you want to hop into the uh, the tournament scene here, you get some matchups against some very fun, fun people. Let's go Lizard here. Don't know anything about what list Jiggly Von Puff is running. Um, Typhoid Mary, I hate. Eh, never mind. I've got the Enchantress. Premature hate. Premature hate. Oh, man. What are we going to get to come around? I feel like I've already played Jiggly Von Puff, but I don't remember when. Anyway, he's got a name that sticks in the mind. Uh, let's see. Shocker, shocker, shocker. So you're playing Patriot. My Enchantress is gold. Actually gold. I want to Sunspot into Magic, into finding good cards. Can I please have some good cards? They're in the deck, but it's not in the hand. I suppose, I mean, if they show a desirable target to get clipped by the Enchantress, then... Um, we could end things without magic. We could set up Typhoid Mary on the lane that we want to Enchantress anyway. Mr. Sinister. So they're losing... Losing a lot of valuable board space here. But they also, if they are Patriot, will have a way to be able to get into the Sanctum Sanctorum. So I have to win both lanes. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was like, man, then I'll snap. No, no, no. I, I think it's... Too early to snap. They're gonna have a way to be able to get to Sanctum. I will not. Are you also playing magic? Yep. Okay. We both extend to the game. For what reason? Who knows? I get Cosmo. You're gonna hit me with a, a Cosmo here? I mean, I feel like I need a full pass on the chance that I pull Infinite. They got the Onslaught. Well, now Enchantress is looking pretty dang good. So is Infinite, though. Oh my goodness. Turn 7. That means that you could... I mean, the kicker is when you Squirrel Girl, right? You Squirrel Girl plus whatever you want Onslaught to be doubling. And I'm flipping first. So my Enchantress is only hitting the Onslaught. Yeah, that doesn't seem very good. They're going to debuff the Lizard, probably be able to win that lane. This one doesn't feel good. It does not feel good at all. I could, because I flip first, play Cosmo. Hang on, it would be like Enchantress and then Cosmo, right? So that I turn off the Onslaught and then I prevent them from playing any unreveal abilities that would get them into Sanctum Sanctorum, try and win off of Margin of Victory, which uh, 17 to 20, I am a little bit ahead, but not by a lot. Hopefully cutting the Onslaught really just, you know, kneecaps them. I've talked about it enough, I feel like I have to do it now. Onslaught's off. Cosmo is on. Mystique doesn't get anything. Patriot does. And the Squirrel Girl still kicks to the side. Well, listen. If I had played Infinite, I still would have lost. I would have won at Limbo, but I would have lost at Sanctum Sanctorum. And with all the extra buffs going to the hub, I would have lost there as well. Okay, okay. But now we got a feel for what they are running. We can see it. We can beat it. Direct my microphone so that my voice doesn't have to get uh, amplified too much. Savage Land is so good for them. Okay, Enchantress, you're going to have to come in clutch. It's already skewing for them. We'll go Lizard. Um, they can just put the stag here at the big house, but then they can't onslaught it. It's probably a sacrifice they're willing to make. 
a lizard here. We'll see what we get. Shocker. Shocker that they played that card. Um, I don't know. Jordanheim's not very good for us, is it? We do have uh, Cosmo into Psylocke into Infinite She-Hulk and just hope that that punches up. Now, it's when they go ahead and play their magic that then we're left a little flat-footed, right? Iceman is sad. He has to play like this. What are they going to be able to play? They passed. What's coming up next? Patriot List is going to play down more cards with no abilities. And try to finish things off. They've already got the Raptors to be able to buff up. I think this is going to be a problematic one. Misty Knight. Patriot. And there they go. And there's the Sunspot, of course, of course. Well. Let's go ahead and see what turn 5 is. And then... I feel like... Infinite wins left, She-Hulk wins right, something like this. They go Misty. Mr. Sinister, you're gonna let me start catching up at Jordanheim? That's an interesting bit. Okay. The She-Hulk here, I don't think, makes it. I hate all this coming from behind. I hate it. You're gonna Onslaught here, right? Onslaught here to be able to get plus two on everybody. The Onslaught would be then um, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 points here up to 21. That would be at 23. That would beat you. But then does my She-Hulk win over here? You're adding another two. Oh, it's so close. It's a really bad position to be in. I think I'll try this. Okay. It was the onslaught. We got the call. We had the read. I have been punished so many times where I make the read and then I don't follow through. But here we go. Stay true to ourselves. Tie it up. Tie it up. Victory. Okay. That's not bad for, you know, not being able to leverage the Enchantress. The Enchantress there would have been pretty spicy. Taking out the Onslaught and then the Mystique, right? Murder World finally got the Sunspot. Got the Psylocke. Holding on to the She-Hulk to show me infinite. So the opponent's game plan overall is that they project just a lot of power very evenly, right? With the Patriot, the Mystique buffs. They can try and consolidate, depending on their game plan, but just in general, because they're distributing buffs to all their cards, they're going to be powerful all over. Here we go with the Squirrels distributing out. We can be powerful in some very focused locations. That seems really good for me. Sure, you can buff your squirrel, but uh, I can buff the sunspot way more. I'll take that. Exactly what we said. They're distributing the power, but here with the space throne hiccup, I think they'll just retreat. My sunspot should be able to win, and then stacking She-Hulk Infinite on a single location should win there as well. And I even get the flexibility of waiting till the last turn to know which location I want to dump them on. Yeah, I feel good. I feel good. A deck that wins by passing. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Okay, okay. We have the lead. A slim one by the slimmest of margins. Seven to eight. And we're not in the high stakes rounds yet, so really it's wide open. That's domain. We can get Jubilee to have something stick there. We could also have magic flip that open because otherwise we're at the mercy of the squirrels, right? I hate I hate losing to squirrels. We'll go Scorpion here. We can play the lizard as well. We want to play um, on curve. 
that if we top deck She-Hulk, Moon Girl would have open space in hand to be able to, um, copy her, duplicate her, duplicate her. There goes the squirrel girl. Why? Why would you allow the squirrel girl to die when you could have just got a squirrel over there? The motivations of my opponent are unfathomable. I will jubilee. Get something to stick to the death's domain. Man, if it's something big, I'd love that. Even if it's just sunspot, I'd love that. But I would really prefer it to be more than three points. The Cosmo Ice Bad Sunspot. Okay. You have the Mr. Sinister here. And then you get the clone out. Sure. That means we'll be able to buff it later, but I am holding Enchantress to counter that. I only get Ice Man. That's pretty weak sauce. Infinite. Costing five. So here's the thing, I could pass to be able to play Infinite on Baxter building, and then hopefully guarantee the projection of three power on either side, and then have turn six, where I can use Enchantress to be able to catch out um, whatever ongoing um, cards they throw down. If I draw the She-Hulk, I'll be a little sad, but I think I, I think I play this. They're gonna go magic? Okay. I, I am appreciative. We get extra time, extra time. Don't have to play our own magic. We just play infinite. Now this is gonna give us initiative, meaning that Enchantress is gonna be harder to land, but we also have turn seven to be able to find it. And when they go magic, that means that they're trying to stack Onslaught, Mystique, Patriot, build the full Exodia build. We have Brood. This is the first time we're seeing Brood, round four. And you even played it to a lane where you only produce a single Broodling? Interesting. What else do we make of turn six then? I want my Sunspot, I want my Lizard, and I want Psylocke. The Enchantress is the Holy One. Yeah, I mean, I could Moon Girl as well. It's up tempo at 3 4. Okay, I convinced myself. What have you played the Baxter building? Shocker! Opponent not letting me get the uh, initiative read on anything. Oh, man. But this means that all the best that you have is Patriot plus Mystique. Patriot plus Mystique? Patriot plus Mystique doesn't win. It doesn't win anything. Not up against us. I just She-Hulk here, and then Enchantress here. Yeah, because they'll be able to add to the Sinister Clone and the Broodling. Plus eight. But I'm adding plus 10, plus 11. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. What kind of tech do we think they have? If they take this, is it gonna be something they haven't shown? Okay, they don't take it. Victory. Ooh. They'd be wondering, like, are they hiding any tech cards against us? That would make them consider that much? What would, uh, what would drop us? Would have been, like, Shang-Chi onto the infinite? Do we think that Jigglypuff Puff is hiding a Shang-Chi for, like, the pivotal moment to be able to win the game? That would be incredible. It would be absolutely incredible. Neg zone, I'm pretty happy punching through Neg zone with my She-Hulk and my Infinite. New York. Okay. Oh, Lizard to the big house. 
got the magic, the She-Hulk, the Infinite. If we could top deck Moon Girl right in here, top deck the Moon Girl, then the game plan will be going at swimmingly. Swimmingly. Lizard hits, they go brood. There we go. Now, full use of the brood. Um, if I Jubilee, I could hit Moon Girl. I could hit Sunspot, which would be nice. I could hit... Mm, Scorpion would be okay. Cosmo would be underwhelming. And then the Psylocke would be wasted. That's about how I see it. Let's see what we get. Double play to negative zone. Really? Okay, Sunspot. Fine. Mr. Sinister and Sinister Clone and Shocker all to the negative zone. Well, I was going to magic here, but now I think I magic to New York. We did find the moon girl. We won't be able to use her. Such is life. Ah, you were prepared with your own. Magic of your own. <laughs> this keeps on happening that we both magic, but I, I never want to anticipate that the opponent will magic for me, because that's just a recipe for disaster. We're holding Enchantress. We hold we hold all the cards here. Do we snap? I think so. If they set up an ongoing stack, the Enchantress would be able to punish. Now, they could play Patriot to the big house and then, like, Mystique to Limbo spread them out, they fuse the buffs, so then Enchantress isn't able to take them all out at once, but the Onslaught tells me otherwise. The Onslaught certainly tells me otherwise. Okay, we're still flipping first, by the way. For all of you who are wondering, if I Enchantress and then She-Hulk, I still have extra energy. Oh my gosh. Uh, Scorpion? This is the win? But what about Infinite She-Hulk? So the Infinite is still really good, right? It's just what they can produce out of the Mystique copying the Onslaught and then the Patriot coming in is crazy. Like, it's crazy high. If they accept this and we win, we win the entire tournament. Because at the high stakes with the one snap, it's going to go up to six. This is everything. They can debuff the lizard and then they can still add to the broodlings. If we lose six, then we're going to be so far behind. Oh my gosh. Let's do it. It's all the limbo. Yes. Got him. Oh, Iron Man? Iron Man. Iron Man has been hidden until now. Oh my gosh. And they beat us. Wow. The Tech Iron Man. I mean, we had to Sunspot, or we had to Enchantress. But then, if I had not played Scorpion... No, I, I was losing on effectively all counts there. I should have retreated, apparently. But we'd never seen the Iron Man. I was fully expecting Patriot, Mystique, etc. My goodness. Now we're down on death's doorstep. We have to win. We have to win the next three games consecutively, my friends. Oh, man. You know what? Well played, Jiggly Von Puff. You got us on that one. Certainly got us on that one, and I think that locks up the game for you. Mr. Sinister. That's Domain. Well, we have uh, challenges facing us on all sides. Do I want to Scorpion and then dilute my deck? Maybe. To the Vibranium Mines we go. Is that better than Cosmo? I don't really have any good on reveal abilities if we magic to the Death Domain. 
can get some pressure there. Also, the Vibranium can play to Death's Domain and not be destroyed. So that's a fun trick. A little Lizard as well. What if we do leave it to that? What if we leave it to playing extra Vibranium, the Death's Domain, to be able to win that? Sunspot scales up. We get the magic in here to keep on drawing more. Play our She-Hulk. It could work. They're going for it as well. There's a Squirrel Girl, so they get the poker in. Okay, so do I trust myself to draw? I'm not drawing it now. Do I think I have magic here to Death's Domain? Oh, it's going to be a long way back into the match, guys. At two health, try to claw back. All of our games have been so close. I mean, you have to imagine that Jiggly Von Pup is going to be able to pick up a win here on one of the next three games. We're going to do our best to make him work for it, though. I am. There's the I Iron am. Man. He's free to play it now. Okay. Okay. You know what, Scorpion? You're doing yeoman's work here up against an Iron Man. So then I pass? Yes, I pass. I could potentially play if I top deck Infinite. Infinite, She-Hulk, and a Vibranium. Oh my gosh. I like it. I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. We'll get the buff onto the Sunspot. I mean, most likely we'll just draw another Vibranium, and so then it's gonna be She-Hulk, Vibranium, Vibranium. And then the Enchantress to be able to hit their Iron Man. Man, I wish I could snap. Turning off the Iron Man mid feels like it's going to be guaranteed win. But we can't. We cannot deal more damage than we have health. Yep, man. If we had retreated on the previous match, we would have had one extra health. Ah, the Onslaught. You're going to make me... Force me to choose who do I turn off. It's an interesting question. Like, do I let... I think I let um, Iron Man go. And we go here with the Enchantress. And then... We play the... She-Hole. And then I play the Vibranium. And then the Sunspot goes two up again. Sure. I feel like... We're guaranteed to lose mid. And even if I Enchantress mid... Then I'm not seeing exactly how I'm winning either right or left. I mean, with a 12-point Sunspot, I'm feeling pretty comfy on left. But they also have Onslaught into Mystique into Patriot, right? Which is crazy. So many options out of this deck that uh, Jiggly Von Puff has constructed here. I definitely respect it. Alright, they go in mid. I'm glad that we did not. We'll shut down Mr. Onslaught. Drop the She-Hulk. They show Vibranium. They show Vibranium. Vibranium? Okay. We're still alive. Still alive. Victory. I'm still alive. Mirror's Edge? Mirror's Edge theme song, anyone? From way back? I don't know where that was living rent-free in my mind, and I heard the opening chorus there. Amma Lab. If only I had my Iceman. I would love some Hulks. Also, my opponent loves Hulks, because then he's sitting on... Iron Man to double them, and Patriot Mystique to be able to buff them. Amalab, the locations are working against me. Dream Dimension also working against me because I cannot play magic now. Hey, get the extras. Okay. Okay, sure. Ah. Wakandan Embassy gives us the buffs. I guess I just play Cosmo here. Psylocke. You're running Psylocke as well? I've never seen the Psylocke, I don't think, up until this point. Maybe I should have played. I don't think I should have played anything else there. 
Cosmo is like protecting them. Maybe I should not have played Cosmo. It's Jubilee here. Because then they can play all of their ongoing effects and I can't silence them with the Enchantress. Yeah, they put up the Patriot here. We get the Infinite though. Okay, maybe that's what we needed to get things going. Now, do I just pass? Be able to get my She-Hulk down enough? I think so. I just pass and I let the Infinite stand tall. And the opponent up to 56 at Gamma Lab. Yeah, it seems like a little bit of an overcommittal. And then if we deploy She-Hulk. Okay, you got the Mystique. With that, I can turn off, so... I don't know why he's giving me that, actually. Immediately suspicious. Okay, so I'll, I'll turn off the Mystique and then... Uh, I will not be worried. I cannot be bothered. This deck still has legs to run. We're gonna bring it into the final sudden death round. Is the comeback real? Hit the Mystique. I don't think they have any single card. No, they don't. No, they don't. Victory. Okay, okay. That was one of the ones the opponent would have retreated, but it really doesn't matter at this stage in the game. The retreats are trivialized. Also, snapping is, is just win the round. We're gonna throw up the bro fist here before this gets uh, gets crazy. This has been, I mean, what a match. What an entire run, guys. I feel like every single round has gone the distance. We've been the slow match completing for the entire bracket. And here we are in the final sudden death round eight. Grand Central is very good. Hopefully it pulls an Infinite. We Scorpion. We'll Scorpion on right. I need Enchantress. I want to be holding Enchantress in my hand. I want to be holding two She-Hulks that I can get cloned out with the... Ah, Washington. Okay. I can... I could Psylocke now on turn three, and then I could pass on turn four, play the infinite. No, no, no. It doesn't, it doesn't get me there any faster. It doesn't, it doesn't get me there any faster. If I top, if I had the um, She-Hulk, then I could Psylocke now and play them both and then have a full turn six, but um, I will Lizard. And I am wondering if I want to Moon Girl to get the copies. Jubilee. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. Give me two infinite. I feel like Jubilee would have been better. Yes, I feel like Jubilee would have been better here. But it is a bit of a... No, the bluff doesn't matter. The bluff doesn't matter. They have to see it through. Jubilee could have pulled She-Hulk. Could have pulled magic. I don't know. The upside here is that if Grand Central pulls an Infinite, I can play a second one. That's that's what it is. It's going for a crazy high roll. And we got the She-Hulk. Oh baby. Yeah, yeah. Full pass. I really don't care what you do. I get a Jubilee. Magic would hurt. Oh, no. Though it does mean that I could draw Enchantress. Hold on does mean that I could draw Enchantress. Okay, I go Infinite, and then I go She-Hulk. I have a second Jubilee. The second Jubilee could guarantee me Enchantress if I don't top deck her. But then, where am I winning? Anywhere else? I think I need a She-Hulk mid. 
Yes, and then I play Iceman here. What a final game, oh my gosh. Yeah, shocker. Misty Knight, he's holding back, he's holding back. I get the Cosmo, so I'm guaranteed Enchantress. Oh. What a game it has been. I just let. So you can play. You cannot play both Iron Man and Patriot, but you can play one of them. You can play to either location. If they play Patriot mid, they get additional plus four to Shocker and Misty Knight. But they lose on mid and they lose on right. Additional eight. Yeah, he, he sees it. He sees the writing is on the wall. Just like it was in Babylon. Oh. oh. Yeah, she is. Patriot with the buffs, but it is not enough. Oh my gosh. Victory. We did it! The back to back to back game comeback is real. We win a tournament just by passing, chat. What an absolute banger of a tournament as we climbed over Zven, Zuches, and Elias. Ah, incredible matches to all of my opponents. What a great tournament. So here is the tournament winning decklist in all of its glory. If you guys want to hop in to these daily tournaments that are being run by Snap Flash, I've got a link to their Discord down in my description. And this list honestly is going to do great for you on ladder if you want to bring it in to try and rank up and hit infinite. It is so much fun to play. And you can actually make it better by adding in both Zabu and Shuri. I would probably cut Lizard or Scorpion and then the Iceman to bring those fellas in. And you're looking at it just an absolutely terrifying list. If you're running the Zabu, maybe you cut Cosmo and run Dragon. Dracula as well. Oh, there's so many options for what Zabu opens up. He was a banned card here, though, and so it was incredibly fun to have to test myself up against only other Series 3. Think about the, the meta in a little bit different way, and incredibly, our read worked out. The Enchantress did pay off against people who were running Patriot. We expected this to happen. And then just the value of Sunspot and then the She-Hulk combo with the Infinite is so good. It ended up triumphing in the end. Till next time, thank you guys for watching. Keep on snapping.